What's up with my camera? I'm praying to get a nice. Oh. Oh, I do need to wear glasses no matter what I do. The girl is just blind. I got stuff all in my background. I don't even care. What's up, you two? What's up, so squad? It's that time, y'all. It is Monday. I'm trying to find myself on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I told y'all 6.30, between 6.30 and 7. I don't know. In between there. Uh, let me see. Y'all know what time it is. I gotta make sure. Okay. Let me see if I could. Wait a see. Oh yeah. Okay. Cause I gotta see y'all. Cause that's what sometimes I pull y'all in close. If I could see what I'm doing. What's up? I'm gonna take y'all back this a little bit. I want to see all this face in y'all face. What's up, Soul Squad? Okay, everybody. It is what? Hey, sister. Hey, um, fam, fam, Kim. Hey. What's up, Soul Squad? When I say what's up, Soul Squad, I'm saying, yes, T, why you do? Um, I'm saying what's up to everybody before, uh, you know, individual names. It's a lot of y'all, period. Okay? So, what's up, my Soul Squad? Guys, y'all see the title? Y'all know what we doing, right? This is what I Monday Night Review. Now, this channel right here on Mondays. It's all about spoilers. I'm sorry. If you didn't see the movie, if you didn't see, you know, what we discussed the week before, look, I got 100 people in here only 18 thumbs up. I know you guys could do better than that. Okay. Y'all saw the title. I'm trying to figure out what that race. I'm going to tell y'all girl been busy this weekend. I've been, I, I had some ups and downs, y'all. I didn't go, I didn't do bingo Saturday. I didn't do on the couch Saturday because something's always happening. But you know what? I got through it and now I'm here. I'm doing a lot, lot better. You saw the movie, Deborah? Okay, hey, Kern, what's up? Tennessee, Nikki, Deborah, Queenie D. Um, yes, but you know what? I don't, go, I don't go straight into the title because we got some other things to talk about. That dag on Nurse Ratchet. Thank you, Soul Squad. Thank you so much. Because when I say, but first of all, if you don't know what Nurse Ratchet is, I knew what it was, but I kept skipping over to over on um, Netflix. Kept skipping it over. My Soul Squad kept telling me, oh, you got to see Nurse. Hey, Regina, you got to see Nurse Ratchet. You got to see Nurse Ratchet. Last week, I finally broke down even Thursday or Friday. I looked at the whole thing. Hey, English is not perfect. I looked at the whole thing. On Amazon, I think it was, I say Amazon, Netflix, I think it was about six or eight episodes. I looked at the whole thing. Now, if you guys want to do a review of Nurse Ratchet, guys, this week, I suggest anybody who got Netflix, you haven't seen it yet, go look at Nurse Ratchet. So next week we could talk about it. It is a season two. Hopefully it's coming to it. I believe it is. It girl, yes, Whitney. It was so good. Thank you guys for recommending that movie, uh, that series, and I loved it from the beginning to the end. Was upset when it went off. So hey, Patricia. Hey, Veronica. So if you guys want to go check out Nurse Ratchet, so we could do a review on it next week. Go check it out. It was a good. It was a good Netflix series. Okay, what else we what else I watched on Netflix? I'm gonna get it to the movie. The title movie is always the last. So the title movie is always the last review. Okay, so I looked at Nurse Ratchet, it was good. Um, it was totally different than what I thought it was gonna be from the previews, so that's why I was like stung. Um, 
it was it, it was just good. And what else? I look, I said on my face. Okay, so what else I looked at? Y'all, your girl been busy looking at TV, okay? FYI, I checked out Queen Latifah. If anybody don't know, I'm telling you right now, Queen Latifah's back on um, TV. She has a new TV show called The Equalizer based off the movie Denzel Washington did a couple of years ago. He had Equalizer 1, Equalizer 2. They were good blockbuster hits for him. You know, they were really good. I enjoyed them. Well, guess what? Queen Latifah has done it, y'all. Let me tell y'all. I looked at episode 1 and I looked at episode 2 last night. Queen Latifah is doing her thing. We had a big debate in my house yesterday when I was watching between me and my boys. They feel, they feel as though that it should be a man. And I'm like, why should it be a man? Talking about she not right for the road. Man, we had a big debate in our house. And of course, I just shut it all down. I said, y'all got to be kidding me. They talking about why did Hollywood always messing stuff up, bring it to TV, and they want to change it up, and they brought a woman. I said, why not a woman? Why not a woman? I mean, what is it that he's doing that a woman can't do? And they talk well, first of all, he was in the army. I said, she was in the army. You got to look at it. She was in the army. She got skills. She could fight. And she's intelligent and smart. Uh, so then they talk well, she too fat. I said, she ain't fat. I said, she looking good and she's moving. She doing those action shots. I don't know if it's her. Look, Sunday, CBS in the D.C. area. We got CBS is out channel nine Sundays at 8 p.m. Queen, Queen Latifah is holding it down with the equalizer. Only two episodes in, only two episodes in, but I see it now that it's going to get another season. I called it. I predicted it was really, oh, hey, suicide bottom or sway bottom. Woo. Yes, I call it. I predict it. She's doing a good job over there. She has a good team of people. Um, it is really good. I, I, I love it. It was nothing that I could take away from it. I thought it was realistic. I thought the action scenes was great. Um, the plot is great. It has a good storyline. Um, check it out. See for yourself. If you don't believe me, let me know what you think. Uh, Queen Latifah's back on TV, y'all. CBS Sunday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And my end with the show called The Equalizer. And I predict that it's going to be a hit. I predict that it will get another season just because... She's doing her thing. And the acting is really, really good. The acting is really, really good. Okay. What else I looked at? Hey, just one me. Anybody. Anybody. Got um Prime. This is the worst. I'm giving y'all the worst movie of the year. Worst movie of the year so far. If I far as an original, you know, Netflix had their originals, Hulu had their originals, Prime had their original, Prime Amazon has their originals. Worst worst original movie out of all three streaming apps. Worst movie of the year. Selma Hayek. On Wilson. I don't know what they were trying to do. I don't know if they did it because they needed a paycheck. The name of the movie is called Bliss. It's an Amazon original. When they say ignorance is bliss, well, this movie is that. Just because it could have stayed on the writing shelf, who have, whoever wrote it need to go back to the drawing board. What they try to do, and if you've seen it on Amazon um, Plus, if you wanted to look at it, I'm telling you now, dude, it was a waste of time. They tried to do a twist and up-to-date version on The Matrix. If it's not broke, don't touch it. The Matrix was good for this time. The first one was the best one. It had all us puzzled or whatever. The Matrix was good. Keanu Reeves and all that stuff. The Matrix was good. Why did they touch this? They should have left it alone. It's not even worth talking about just to tell you guys that it was the worst original movie of the year on Amazon Prime. I wouldn't waste my time on it. Yeah, I, I understood it, but I just didn't get it. It, 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 it wasn't even worth it wasn't even worth making. 
And you know, sometimes I think they're just trying to throw things out there because it's a pandemic and they want to throw things out there for us to watch. But if you don't believe me, watch it yourself. It's on Amazon Prime on Wilson, um, Selma Hyatt. It's called Bliss. It is a one star. And I said, I believe they get it because they need the paycheck. Not worth watching. I give it a one star just because on Wilson, Selma Hyatt, they should have known better. But, hey, it is what it is. We do what we do. We make mistakes. This is one of the movies that they can put on their shelf and say, hey, I wish I never did it. It's not going to bring your... It's not going to change. I don't think it's going to mess up anybody's career. It was a bad choice of movies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know if they read it or they just... Uh, it was just a bad choice. Uh, it was a bad choice of movie for either one of them to do. Um, so, it is a one-star bliss. Do not watch. It's not worth your time. Bad writing, bad everything, bad everything all the way around. Now, I told you I've been busy, y'all. I didn't. A strawberry shortcake. I kind of read what you said. <laughs> this is all topic. I know it's all topic. This is all talking about strawberry shortcake. I hear you, boo. Okay. Let's talk about something that I like. Before we get to Megan Good, you know, the movie review, the list of the last movie um, that we're going to talk about. Because I want to tell you guys everything that I watch in between. I felt like I was just so busy this weekend looking at so much stuff um, to give you guys some good things. But um, let's talk about... This is the fourth time? Well, guess what? Then you know it's some truth in that, right? Uh, do me a peach cobbler. You know, it's some truth in that, right? Okay. I'm not lying. Um, I ain't saying I'm no 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 certified movie critic, but as uh, movie goers and been watching movies for years and you know what you like, you know when a movie appeals to you, you know when it jump out there at you. And with that being said, let's talk about Michael Memory. I got, I got, um. Let me take a cough on that. Okay. Zendaya. She's growing up. That David Washington looking fine as ever. He look good. Look good. Black and white. I love the black and white. To me, everything don't have to be color. The black and white made it more intimate to me. I like the fact that they chose to go black and white. It made the movie more intimate. It made the movie stand out. The movie was simply about two people discovering who they are all over again with communications. That's what I got out of it. You know what I'm saying? It was lack of communication. It was about, I can't read your mind. And I say that because Zendaya, um, the girl that played Marie, Beautiful actress, beautiful young woman, 24 years old. She's making a name for herself outside of this Disney world. She's, I'm so glad that she's coming to her own and she's starting to do more grown-up work. Um, she's trying to get outside that Disney character who we all know her for. But, um, you know, because she came from Disney. She's a Disney star. And sometimes it's hard for them to break that. You know what I'm saying? To break that role of being a child. But she's coming to her own. Um... Uh, every time, uh, every time I close my eye, I heard about that. And, um, you know, when, when she did that video with Bruno Mars, I was like, okay. Um, 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 I was like, she, she doing her thing. She's trying to be grown, trying to step out there, um, for Sasha on the floor. If you don't know that video, her and Bruno Mars did this video, beautiful song for Sasha on the floor. She's the main girl in that, in that video. Well, let's get back to the movie, Malcolm and Marie. It was a great movie. Um, I give it like four stars. I really did. I understood it. I saw somebody in one of my sister's lives say, ooh, that movie was boring. But it wasn't boring. You had to get the understanding of it. You had to get the, um, they stress you out with all the arguments. But it was a point behind all the arguments. It was a point, And I understood where they were coming from. First of all, <coughs> we do this to men all the time. We do as a woman, because she started this argument. As a woman, I'm going to say this. We do this to men all the time. Sometimes men do it to us. They cannot read our minds. 
That's why you got to communicate. It started off with them coming home. Apparently, he's some type of movie producer, movie director. He made a movie. They went to premiere the movie. This family did not thank her in any way at the movie. He thanked everybody else that had anything to do with this movie but her because she felt, she felt as though the character was about her. But she told him, and he told her in so many words, you said it was okay that I forgot to thank you. But when we get home, it wasn't okay. That's what started the argument. I mean, come on now, brother. You should have known when a woman tell you something is okay, she squeezed your hand and said it was okay that you forgot to thank her. Did you not know when you get home you was going to have an argument about that? You thanked everyone else that had anything to do with this movie down to paying attention to the star who played the role in this movie. And you did not thank your woman who she felt that this movie was about her, about her addiction to drugs, about her trying to kill herself, about her overcoming, you know, everything she went through. She felt that the main character was all about her, but it wasn't. Because he, man, y'all got to see Malcolm Marie. They argued back and forth to each other. Each one of them had points. It was just like behind the scene in someone's relationship. You know what I said? I thought it was good. I, I, I felt it. I liked the complicity of the black and white. To me, it made it very seductive. It made it very... Um, it made me feel like I was more part of what was going on because the black and white actually just like brought it all together. Um, I thought it was good. The music they were playing in the background when they would stop arguing, it, 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 it felt it brought some sexiness into the into the scene, into the mood. It was just it was just good. And all the arguments had vital points, you know. I felt like I was in a relationship. You know, it, I thought it was very, well, very, very well written, very well acted. You said your anxiety was high watching it. <laughs> I thought it was very well written, very well acted. The cinematography of the whole thing was the way they did the black and white. It was it, it was just great. I loved it. I don't know. I thought they pulled me into their argument and I just had I, I was like I had I was on both everybody's sides everybody him and her they all put up vital points man it was good <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a four stars it could if you didn't understand what they was trying to do I could see why some people say it was boring you was looking for something different but it was not boring it pulled me into someone's relationship and it let me know that communication is key when it comes to a relationship. That's based to me. That's what I got out of it. You got to communicate. And you know what? And it gave them a chance to vent to each other. And at the end, they came around. You know, at the end, it ended with them standing on the beach. They got a better understanding of each other. Because I'm telling you, my brother, when she was in that tub, he broke it down who that movie was really about. Yeah, that movie had a piece of you, but that movie wasn't all about you. You was not my whole life. That brother broke that down. I was like, whoa. I'm telling you, Malcolm Marie is an hour 46 minutes. I think it's a good watch. Um, some people may say it's boring. It depends on what type of movies that you like, but it's very intense. Like someone said, it's a lot of arguing, but this don't look at it as a couple. Um, Fuss and arguing back and forth. Look at what is bringing it to the relationship. Look at what they're getting out of the relationship. It was a healthy argument because at one point it wasn't really about arguments. They really wasn't arguing. They were bringing out points in the relationship. Okay, I mean, yeah, it was loud and they was doing a lot of f you, f that, f this, f that. But they were bringing out points, man, and they they were bringing out things that they were holding back. I loved it. I think it was a great job, great movie for both the actors. Um, Netflix, to me, did it again with another original um, movie. I think it's a worth an hour and 46 minutes. I think it's worth it. Um, yeah, so that's my thought on Malcolm Marie. Um, if you want to check it out, um, go for it. I think you will enjoy it. If you if you want to look at a relationship and and communications, like I said, the black and white is good. I thought it was very seductive. It was very sexy. Um, 
I don't know if this all the things they were trying to bring out in the movie. Whatever they was trying to do, in my eyes, I believe they did it. Yeah. Unlike that damn bliss. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was at um, Point on View Movies. Hey, Shadonna. Okay, how you doing, Shadonna? What's up, boo? Um, so I thought um, Malcolm Marie is a good watch. You guys go look at that. Um, Nurse Ratchet, if you guys want to do a movie review on that next week, go check it out so we can add it to our... Um, you try to watch it. Just try to... When you watch it, watch it with an open mind. Watch it with an op open mind and, and just see what you get out of it. You got to get past the fact that they're arguing back and forth, that they're fussing. It's about, you have to get past that and then listen to what they're saying to each other. You know what I'm saying? You got to get past uh, the arguing, but listen to the conversation that they having. Listen to the conversation within that argument. That's what's going to pull you into it and make you pick sides and, and, and help you get an understanding. And the black and white just does something different. It gives me 1940s, 1930 movies when things are like more simpler. See, that's what I think they was trying to do with this. And um, it, it, it was it was good. It's a Nurse Ratchet crazy. I'm finishing now. Laugh a lot. Yes, Nurse man, Nurse Ratchet was good. Y'all, I want y'all go look at that. We gonna talk about that next Monday. I don't want to say nothing else about Nurse Ratchet except it was good because we we talk about it now. It's gonna be some spoiler alerts because. I loved it. Hey, get that in the house. What's up? So that's what it was. You know, you got to dig deep and get past all the yelling at each other and, and listen to what they're saying and within the within it. And you'll grasp it and you'll get it. Uh, what else I looked at? Oh, they came out great stuff. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Somebody said, and you know, if you can't get it, it's okay because every movie is not for everyone. And my, this is just my personal opinion, what I took from the movie. And that's, and it made me love it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's what, um, so, we talk about the equalize. We talk about bliss. We talk about Malcolm and, um, Malcolm and Marie. Excuse me. And we talk about Nurse Ratchet. I feels like I'm missing something. Did I look at something else? But guess what? Let's get to this Lifetime movie. What? Lifetime what? Movie review. Our girl Megan Good. Okay. Y'all know Lifetime. They really, really get it wrong. Okay. Sometimes they could hit and miss. This was a hit for them. I thought it was good. Again, I'm giving this a four stars. Just because... I say this movie is so deep and interesting. Which one, Malcolm or Marie? Or you're talking about, um, or you're talking about Death Saved My Life or Megan Good Lifetime movie event starting February the 13th. Lifetime got five movies that we will be revealing and watching every Saturday because they got these five new pulled out the headlines just for us movies man i used to be an advocate lifetime watcher way back in the day at one point to me lifetime had felt off and i stopped watching it and then i stopped back watching it again because i felt like every time i turned around oh it was good every time i turned around i felt like i was just watching um Oh, I gotta look at it. The Anna Nicole movie review. If I could still find if it's up there. Um, I felt as though they were always just doing repeats, 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 repeats. Every time I turned around, I was always seeing the same old movie, movie again. But they're on their game. Okay, this was a hit for Lifetime. Um, the movie was good. It was interesting. Let's talk about their husband, honey. Their husband. He was a control freak again if anybody ever seen the movie with kevin klein and julia roberts it's called sleeping with the enemy this was pretty much that movie but the movie that movie was i don't know it was based off of um um it was based off a book sleeping with the enemy this movie was based off real life um a real life situation even though the characters was fictional and this stuff saved my life but the um plot and the scenario was actually real based off of um um, based off uh, acrimony. Somebody said acrimony, please. It's great. I seen acrimony. Um, there's all stuff that really happened to someone. Man, anytime you gotta go as far as faking your own death to get away from a man 
it's some real stuff going on out here, okay? The husband was, I was so glad that his anger that he had towards his wife, why he had that control, he wanted to own her, you know, kept reminding her how I took care of you when your parents died. Well, when her parents died, they didn't explain how they died. You're supposed to take care of her. You know what I'm saying? You were supposed to be there for her and help her. You know what I'm saying? And help her go through it. Yes, she went through a form of depression. The other sister went away and she ended up on drugs. I mean, they was very sound like they were close to their parents. And it, and it probably was a sudden death. And it hit them hard, you know, out the blue. Oh, good you were there for her. You know, he held that over her head so much. How he, because I was trying to figure out, well, what you do? How you help her? You know, she went to depression. You got her on May. She was there for her. She's grateful for that. Okay, she ended up marrying you. But he wanted to be in control. He didn't want nobody else to have. I was so glad because I thought he was one point. I thought he was gonna kill the young boy at her job. The little young boy, he did have a crush on her, but she ain't had time for that. She ain't see that. She had so much going on. Uh I did. You missed it. If you're talking about the one that just came out, this is our fourth movie review. I think we did the Whitney one was last week, wasn't it, y'all? The Whitney and Bobby Christina. Yeah, so you have to go back and look at a movie review Monday last week. We did it last week. The Whitney documentary is old, but if you're talking about Miss Morris, you no, know, Mr. Morris from the one that was last week, we did it. It's up. You gotta go look at it. We did it last Monday. Um he was just so controlling. He just wanted her. You know what I'm saying? He just wanted her. And one thing about real life movies that I really hate because they touch my heart because I think about how somebody actually had to, uh, no, Kevin, can um, I gotta go back and check the names. I thought it was Kevin Klein. I thought it was Kevin Klein. I'll go back and check. If not, he kind of looked like it. If you know who it is, let me know. I make mistakes sometimes, but I thought it was him as the husband. But you could go back and check it. Oh, if I'm saying, or either I'm saying the name wrong. Because uh, you know, I mess up everybody's names. So I might be saying the name wrong, but I thought he was in there. But it's somebody, well, any, um, I'll, I'll clear it up, or if you got to go, go look it up. Kevin Anderson, okay, I said I could have been saying the name wrong or messed up, but I knew it was something. Um, and I said that last week. <laughs> but um, it really took to me because I feel bad that somebody actually had to, um, you know, somebody said, Pat, we can find out. Cause er, let's find out. I got got phone right here. I seen it so many times. I thought it was him, but like I said, hey, we made mistakes. I could be wrong. Leslie, sleeping with the enemy cast. It was, either way, the movie still remind me of that. Of that. Nineteen ninety one. Let's see. Got the cast here. Hmm. It say Patrick Burgeon. Okay. Kevin Anderson. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was Kevin Klein, but it looked like it was Kevin Anderson. Okay. Um, Kevin Anderson is the mer okay, okay. We cleared that up. Okay, so it still reminds me of that that whole had to get away and everything. But I like how she messed with his mind. I love how she messed with him. This man was in surgery. His hands was shaking. She made him think he was lunching. But what really got me is that the man that he hired to kill her, first of all, I knew. Okay, it makes me feel like huh, I knew. I knew. That the man that came up to her when she dropped them keys and had that gun at her, I said her husband did that. I knew her husband was behind that. I, I, I just had a feeling. And then that man got away with all that money. He don't even know how to hire a hitman and ask for proof. That man knew he didn't do all that he did. That man knew he did not kill her. He took this dummy money. 
He deserved it. He deserved to lose out on every money that he paid. Uh, supposedly he was supposed to pay this man because that man, well, he really didn't get away the money. He, he got arrested at the end because she got him too. But this is a dumb man. Who has somebody? Don't ask for proof. Just because you saw the house all messed up, blood everywhere and everything, he thought the man actually did it. You know what I'm saying? He didn't ask for um, a, a visual of the body. He paid this man, say get rid of the body because he saw this thing. And she wasn't on her P's and Q's about trying to catch them and all that stuff. Man, he would have walked away with all his money and what he would deserve to walk away because who the hell hired somebody to kill their wife? That that's that that thing is just crazy because she wanna go to work, because she just wanna hang out. You know, it was just crazy. The arguments he picked about people saying something to her when she got that award and her, her and I knew when that guy whispered in her ear, it was gonna be an argument. Whisper in your ear, you get accused of having an affair, you know, once you admit to something that you didn't do. You know, I, I'm, the only reason I related to the movie, because I told you guys of the domestic violence that I went through. And uh, at certain parts of it, it made me felt like I understood where that... Um... Yeah, it was. At the end, it was a collab of True Stories. And at the end of the documentary, they showed a documentary at the end. It was a collab of True Stories about how people, the things that people do to um, get away from... Um, crazy relationships, abusive relationships. Um, at the end, it was like a little 15 minute documentary. Um, the lady who wrote the book or who wanted to, um, who wanted to, um, um, know what it's like to, um, fake your death. And she was talking about how easy it's really not to do. Um, the movie was, the movie was great. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it pulled me in. I understood about being accused of things that you, um, that you never did being accused of, um, somebody flirting with you and want you to admit to something because it's in their head. So if it's in their head, it's right. You know what I'm saying? If it's in his head, it's right. So you need to admit to something that you didn't even do just to satisfy his ego because he could justify the reason why he hitting on you and making you black and blue. You know what I'm saying? So um, I thought it was acting well. Um, it was like... It was good. I'm glad she finally let her. Um, it's gonna snow here. Uh, we're um, we have a snow rain. It's been I'm doing freezing ice and making everything slippery. We got more more coming this week. Really not snow, but just like freezing ice. So it's making the roadways and things slippery because stuff is freezing up. And you got and it's very very cold. It's really cold. I don't know. We trying to make up for the past winters when we had it good or not. I'm not sure. Um. Oh, you missed the ones where the husband had three wives and fake his death. And I'm saying, Lifetime, they bring it back a whole lot of good movies. Um, it was a good movie. It was an eye opener. You know, it was something to watch. Um, that was a real life sister. Oh, wow, that's good. It's going to be a longer winter this year. Yes, it is, Rocky. It's going to be a longer winter. Um, I thought the movie was good. I think the acting was good. I don't think they overdid it. I don't think they underselled it. It just made you realize, well, there's a lot of people out here still going through domestic violence. People still trying to escape, you know, husbands. and it, men, men go through domestic violence, too. What? Oh, um, oh yeah. Um, I think, I think, I bet, yeah. Um, the man was punched like, I he slammed his girlfriend and turned like this, and her face opened with his passion on her face and all that, and she was crying. Was this had something to do with the movie I just watched? Yeah. Was no, it something you saw on YouTube? Nah, it was on screen. That I was that. It was on screen? Nah. It was on what? Uh, Instagram. It was on Instagram. Oh, okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> Jackson was telling me something, y'all, about something he saw that was on Instagram, and that was some real life stuff. And you know, when I see or hear about the mess of violence, you know what? It made me sad, but he just threw me off by saying, coming in talking about, oh, I saw something on um, Instagram where uh, uh, a guy was beating up his girlfriend, and they put it on Instagram. So he kind of threw me off with that. But, um, <laughs> okay, that's not funny. 
Okay. Um, but the movie was great. If you didn't get basically the review is about if you didn't see the movie, it was a good watch. Like I said, when stuff happens, when I see these real life movies, some of them could make me think about things that I went through and I get so sad because I feel like, oh my God, somebody actually went through that. I said, I never wore a wig. I like your wig. Thank you, Miss Ford. Uh, so it was a good watch, y'all, for us, a Lifetime movie. I say it was a hit. I say it was four stars because she did her thing. Um, she kept it together. She made a little mistakes that I saw in the movie, like when she was peeping through the window and she knocked over those cans. I knew she was a goner. My heart was racing. I thought she was about to get gone, okay? Oh, she, um, uh, uh, uh. Boy, would you leave me alone while I'm trying to do something? Yes, bye. Oh my, okay, why do it every time? He's 16. He knows about to get on camera. Why he just couldn't ask me stuff and do stuff before? Amazon. I get all my wigs from Amazon now. That's my new, honey. Oh, y'all. Y'all ain't got nothing. These new wigs I got come. I told you I wasn't going to do no new wigs, but I found some cornrow, okay? Yeah. Cornrow wigs that look amazing. That I was like, oh, I got to do these. I didn't know they made cornrow wigs, okay? They look so pretty, y'all. So, um... Uh, uh, so, I, uh, thank you, uh, Kern. I, so, y'all got another wig haul coming, and they going to Yes, I do. I had a list. I, I'm telling y'all, I was been putting that list down in that thing. I haven't done it yet. Y'all, sometimes I ain't gonna admit, I hate to say it, but sometimes I get lazy. That's the truth. Maybe you shouldn't tell nobody that, but that is life. That is the truth. And I could call, if I, if, if I don't know it, I know it myself. Sometimes your girl get lazy. I'd be like, okay. I'm going to do it. And I never get to it. And I don't do it on purpose. It just it seems like stuff gets in the way. And I get forget. And I be like, oh, man, I'm tired today. And I don't know it's the being shut in the house, not really going out, don't really have company, the camaraderie of the people, having other people around. I don't know what plays a part of all of it. But sometimes, yeah. This wig, I can say, this is movie about movie review. <coughs> <clears throat> this is uh, uh, this is uh, let me tell you what this wig. I'm gonna tell y'all name this wig real quick. I call my, I could call myself out, y'all. I will call myself out just because I know. I'm gonna tell you the name of this. I'm gonna tell you guys the name of this wig real quick. Cause somebody else and I sent it to them. I just go to my Amazon orders. And I'll get your name real quick. And you guys can look it up. And it'll be right there. I'm waiting for it to load. And it's not loading. Is it tell you? Why is all? I know it's called 10 inch. I want to call it. It's called a 10 inch kinky wig. Here you go. Uh, let's see. Is a new year? They take all our orders out because it's not in Amazon orders. So for the last six months, wow. Okay, here we go. My phone taking all day to load up. Well, I know it's called a 10 inch. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't forget about y'all. Here it is. It's Brazilian wig. Short, kinky. 10 inch Brazilian wig for black women. That's the name of it. Boy, if I got to have no virgin hair, not much that stuff calls. So it's a Brazilian wig, 10 inch kinky for black women. That's that's how I told you guys how I look my stuff up on Amazon. When I'm looking for wigs, I actually put in wigs short. I put a short bob wigs for black women. That's what I do. That's how you got you got to break it down, or they're gonna give you everything under the sun. Be like, nobody got time to show through all that. But this is called a Brazilian wig, ten inch short, kinky for black women. Yes, 
And um, it's fifty five dollars. I think I told somebody one time this week. Hey, K and T's world. This week was forty, but it was fifty five dollars. And it's human hair, and it's really, really soft, guys. And it has the part right here on the side, and it's really manageable too. And it's a good throw on. Yeah. So I hope you guys like my mood review. Like I said. I I'm not no professional. These are my personal opinions. Um, whether or not you guys may want to look at the movies, what you got out the movies. Um, like I said, the mega good movie, it was a good, it was a hit for a lifetime. I really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you, KT's World. <laughs> I think that you guys will enjoy it. If you haven't watched it yet, it is on demand. If you haven't seen the Wendy Williams story, it is on demand. If you haven't seen the new Whitney and Bobby Christina story, it is all on demand on, um, this sound, it, it, it just sounds natural. Yes, it is. Um, no, say naughty. What'd you say? I didn't hear what you said. Oh, I finished that. I can't wait till Lovecraft come back. Lovecraft Country was so, so good. I can't wait till it come back. Yeah, I'm telling you, I look at TV. I look at all time, all kinds of television. And um, I'm so thankful for remembering. I I I I I I'll be sitting there looking at TV all day long. I get confused. I say I'm gonna have to start writing some stuff down. <laughs> Cause I get confused and I be all the player. Oh, someone tried to get me on Amazon. What? Ooh, I could do one division right now, baby, because I'm already caught up on that. I'm all five episodes in. I'm, I'm sitting down waiting for episode six to drop, okay? I'm mad that they dropped one episode and they dropped two episodes. If y'all don't know WandaVision, you got to have Disney Plus. And you got to be a fan of the DC comic, Marvel comic world to know exactly who we talking about, okay? So... If you want to do WandaVision, and if you guys got Disney Plus, go check it out. When I first watched it, I'm not going to lie, the first episode had me puzzled. I was like, well, what is they doing? A black and white show? Um, I, I was like, what was going on? I, I didn't know what was going on, but we know what's going on now, don't we? Yes, we do. We know what's going on now. And I'm going to tell you the reason. Why that? Why she's doing that? She's suppressing um, Vision's death. Cause remember, um, Santos killed Vision. Santos, what's his name? Thanos. Thanos, Thanos Joshua. Oh, let me tell you Thanos killed Vision in one of those one of those epic movies. Uh, what battle was it? Which battle was it? Which battle was it? Which battle was when um he killed all the and then they all came back five years later. But for some reason he didn't come back. Okay, so in the Avengers, yes, you gotta be you gotta be part of that world, okay? Because I love all that stuff. You gotta be part of that world to know. It was the end game or infinity wars. One of them vision got it was infinity wars, and the end game is when they all came back, right? Yeah. Okay, so vision got killed in infinity wars. And I think he it was come back because he, he was alive from that stone. Yeah, that stone, that stone that um Zen what's his name again? Thanos. Thanos took Thanos. that to the middle of Vision head. He took that. Vision couldn't come back. So you know, in the end game, everybody came back, and it was five years later. Vision didn't come back. Then Wanda came back too, right? Wanda came back. That little Ant Man, Ant Man came back too, right? Ant Man was never gone. He was never gone. He was stuck inside that awesome the universe, wormhole. Uh, the wormhole thing. Yeah, yeah. man, you gotta go look at that. <laughs> I, I I I love I love Marvel. I love all that stuff. And so um I think she got she suppressed it. Cause her vision was making a connection. I don't know how he's gonna be with a computer though. They make love all types of ways. Cause I ain't think he was even human. I thought he was some type of computer thing or something. Anyway, they were uh, they they were making a connection. And just when they were making that connection, you know, he was just like her protector. And they did have feelings. I don't know how that was going to work anyway. But anyway, um, I think she flicked. He did. He just, he did, y'all. And she can't take it. So she made a world was just for her vision, what their life would be like if he was, um, if he was alive. 
And so I think her powers and stuff, she done flicked. Y'all y'all need to look at WandaVision because that thing is good. Now, now that, and now that people understand, she still don't understand. Man, that last episode was good. Episode five was good, Josh. You need to go talk. You ain't looking at that yet, WandaVision. Uh -uh. Oh, you need to go check it out. I watch a lot of anime. I don't have time for it. I'm like, guys, I ain't getting to no anime. Yeah, but do you think they could reboot him because he's a computer? That's what I was saying, too. That's why I understand how she thought a relationship between them was going to work. But she had in her head, she loved her vision. And I think he had feelings for her, too. And so I think she just she just lost it. But she got too many powers to be losing it, y'all. Them people scared of her, okay? What's her name? Uh, Wanda Skoskinov, so some type of Russian name, right? Wanda. Man, oh, her, her, her superhero name is Scarlet Witch. Her, I know her super name. Her superhero name is uh, who? Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch. But um, she's from Russia. Her and her brother. Because her brother got killed too in one of those um battles of the war too. Man, I'm telling you, go look at WandaVision. If you know all about Marvel, you uh, Scarlet. Yeah, Scarlet Witch. That's what Joshua said. If you know all about Marvel, you'll know who Wanda is, who Vision is, and you could actually probably follow the show. A little bit more. I think it's a good concept. I, I like it. I'm waiting for the end game. And it was it was that the end game? Was that episode five that we saw episode six? Because usually these shows only get six episodes. And Disney Plus so far, they haven't been um uh... who's the black detective? I don't know who that is. I was wondering that myself. I was wondering that myself, but um the girl Oh man, I can't. I ain't gonna tell y'all how episode five ended. You gotta go watch it, cause I don't wait for episode six to drop. Come on, Wanda flicked off. You see how she had those kids? Who is she? She she worked some. Her mother. She had kids. You gotta go look at WandaVision. She created. Time. She I'm recreated this. She created this world for her and Vision to live in. She created this whole. She took over town, and she's in everybody's head in this town. Okay, she holding people prisoner. She's holding people prisoner in this town. She took over their head, their minds, and everything. It, uh, man, oh yeah, Black Widow movie. That's Brandon's girl. Can't wait for that either. That's Brandon's girl. You gotta go look at WandaVision. It's very complex, but it's very good. And you got yeah, spoiler alerts. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't do no more, no more, no more. I'm telling y'all, I be all over the place. I got so many apps. That's why a chick always broke, man. I got the Sling app. I got the HBO. Um, <laughs> yeah, she brought Vision back to life. She kidnapped him out whatever laboratory or lab that the army or the government had him at. She kidnapped him out of there. He, he, she kidnapped him out of there. But she said, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. You brought it up and got me into it, man. Um, I got so many apps, y'all. I got Hulu. I got Netflix, but my Netflix is free because I got T-Mobile. Sometimes those deals be right on point. So my Netflix uh, is free. Uh, yeah, she loved Vision. She loved Vision. That's why she, her mind is gone because she, her reality is. That was, a, that was the last closest thing she had to her. Her love of her life, their parents died, her and her brother. Then she had her brother. That man was manipulating her and her brother to help him end the world. But, you know, like, like usual, she came around, came to her senses, got to working with the Avengers. And then during that last fight, um, her brother died. Oh, your brother, your um, your um, girlfriend just told you about. Yeah, her brother died. Vision was her last connection to having somebody who had feelings for her or somebody that would be there to protect her. Vision was her last connection, as far as she know, because she had to open up, give somebody else a chance. But right now, in her head, that was her last. That was her last boo. That was the last person that she had that she felt was there for her. She lost a day of mind over man. Yes, she did. <laughs> if you want to be like that, yes, she did. <laughs> Dr. Frost, another series called What If. 
uh, is worth binge watching. I'm gonna check it out. Netflix. Yeah, she lost her mind. Basically, that's what she did. <laughs> she lost her mind over a damn man and a man that. <laughs> but it is what it is, right? <laughs> hey, Shelly. <laughs> it's a good watch. It's an interesting watch. And again, you gotta you gotta follow the Marvel um in order to really know what's going on. Because, honey. He's a computer. Somebody say he's a computer. I just saw. Oh. Uh, oh, y'all. I ain't got much teeth, but I got a little bit, okay? Quarter abscess. Got an abscess. I got to go to the dentist. My face was like this. I couldn't hardly talk. My mouth was hurt and couldn't hardly eat. Every time I turn around, it's always sugar, honey, iced tea happening to me. And I'm like, what the heck? H E double L Hawkins sticks going on. And so that's why I didn't come on Saturday for on the couch. That's why I didn't do bingo. I just, you know, bingo requires me to be very active. I be into my music and I love it. And you know, and my music be take me there. I couldn't be I couldn't be doing all that. So I'm feeling a little better. Um, I gotta go to dentist. You know, the day was a holiday, so I gotta call the people tomorrow morning. To see, can somebody come and see me? Because even though the swelling is gone down, it feels a little lot better. That's how Dre say. The Legends, the Marvel series. Yes, John. Before they interrupt me about surgery, that's how Dre tell y'all to pre The Legends. Oh, my goodness. I saw a two-minute preview. on. I was looking at one of my favorite YouTubers, and a commercial came on. And I respect YouTubers. I look at their commercials like I want people to look at mine. And I saw that two-minute trailer. But guess what? It's coming in theaters. Um... Um, uh, and I don't think we may be talking about because um, I think Disney doing one too, but they got a new one coming out called the Legions, um, the Marvel, the Le League or Legions. Or Man, it's coming out, and um, I can't wait. And it's gonna be on HBO Max same day in theaters. It is gonna look good. Um, it is gonna look good. I can't wait. It ain't get it. It ain't reviewed the date yet. It didn't review the date yet. When I when I looked at the two minute trailer, it just said coming soon. It's gonna release on HBO Max the same day. Uh, no, not yet, H Fisher. I got a lot to get together. I got a lot of things going on, and I don't wanna be taking nobody one night now. Cause people work hard for their money, and I ain't delivering nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'll let you guys know soon when I'll be back. Um doing that right now it's hard for me to stay focused on this one channel better let's try to bring some extra stuff i thought i could do it but uh -uh. they say it's a rip ball brit say it's a rip ball um so yeah not yet that's why everybody cancel your prescription okay because Okay, because the YouTube is acting. Oh, oh, okay. And I don't know. My son took down the um joint, but my son's slow like me. We gotta get out as our sugar honey iced tea stuff together. Cause my son's slow like me. You wanna say hi? Hi, subscribe. Say hi. Hi. Say how you doing? Honey, man. What you was eating? Chips. Oh, you had some chips. That my goofy baby. <laughs> Yeah, you are. I see. Hi. Say hi. I need your video. Your video. Oh, your father about to get you. Oh, there you go. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Your video almost over. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's over. No, it's not almost over. Grandma was doing movie review. Okay. Bye, bye. Say bye, Soul Squad. Bye, bye, Grandma. Bye, bye, baby. Go finish eating your chip. Because I got the TV on mute so I could read the comments going on over there. But I got the TV on mute so it won't interfere with my grandma's phone. You got something? Who's grandma's phone? That's grandma's phone. Pick that up for me. Put it up. Pick, pick it up. That's what aunt said. It's tall. Yeah, it's tall. Yeah. Your father calling you. Go see what your daddy want. <sighs> y'all grandchildren. Y'all, she made, I'm trying to move, right? So I told her today. Y'all, I'm sorry. We, we went for a movie review. So said, um, no, 
your um, recreation of your recipes. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to do something. Y'all, I told her today, right? I said, did your father tell you grandma moving? She said, huh? I said, did your father tell you grandma moving? She said, you moving, grandma? I said, yeah. I said, I'm moving. She said, forever? I said, no, not forever, just for a little while. I said, but I'm moving far away. She said, why? I said, because grandma got something she got to do, something she always want to do. And I said, and it's going to make it better for you and everybody else. And she was like, you're not going to stay forever, are you? I can't remember the conversation. It made me so sad. Almost broke my heart. I said, no. I said, um... I said, it's not going to be forever. I said, we could still talk, but we're not going to be able to hug each other. I said, but we could still talk the way we talk on FaceTime, and Grandma going to come and visit you and everything. She said, as long as you're not going to stay forever. I said, I'm not going to stay forever. She said, okay. I said, you going to miss me? She said, yeah. But, oh, girl, she, I, it was more to the conversation. I just can't even remember what she said. But I'm tell you, she put a little flick in my heart. With that said, why the hell are you moving? And then my son said, I thought you said you ain't going to let nobody stop you from moving. I said, I'm not. I'm not. I said, but she, man, she put a little bug went off in my heart with our conversation. Um, I ain't telling y'all why I'm moving that, Miguel. But it's already, it, stuff is already being set. And um, she put a little, she put a little, um, see, and I ate three. I don't know if I could tell, have a conversation with her yet that grandma's moving. She's three, in which I'm going to miss both my granddaughters because I get to hug and kiss my babies and love up on them and do things with them and interact with them. And when I move to this whole new state, I won't be able to do that. But I'm doing that just to improve my brand, to do something different. Um, DC is so expensive and everyone will benefit at the end. But she just put a little... She, oh, she put, she put a little light switch on. Are oh, you doing the right thing? She just, I had to almost second guess myself, but I'm going to do it. But um, I said, you're not going to cry. She said, I'm not going to cry. Yeah, that's what I said too. Summer holidays and all that stuff and everything. I know. And when I keep reminding myself, it's a lot of grandparents who don't live in the same state with their grandchildren. And they make it work. They make it work. And that's what I did after me and her conversation. Oh, I know she asked me, when when was I doing it? I said, in the next six months. I said, I'm moving in August. I said, so next five or six months. She said, can you make it 20 months? I nearly cried. Hey, how you just did it? You just got a pepper right there, though. You see the thing right there, the little seasoning boxes? Oh, yeah. Um, um. Only three. My three youngest stand here. Of course, Joshua stand here because he has her. He has a baby. He can't move from his baby. Michael just got married. He has a baby. He has a wife. They don't want to go to where we going to. Brandon has his own apartment. So, um, I'm only taking my editor, which is my fufu. He does all my YouTube stuff. Andrew and Josh and Jackson. So, it's just the four of us going. And the other three is staying here in D.C. They got all they... They got all their arrangements made and stuff. They staying here in D.C. So that's what really, Camel really broke the back when she say, well, can you, can you um, go in 20 months? Ooh. No, Tia said she ain't going West Coast Cali because she trying to go to school. And, and I, you know, I commend that, you know, do what you got to do. Do, do what makes you work for your family. I'm going to do what makes me work for me. She said she's not moving because D.C. does. D.C. offer a lot of free stuff when it comes to colleges and, and schools and all that stuff. And she's trying right now. She's in the middle of doing something great for herself. And she's trying to, um, and she's trying to, you know, go that route. And so I'm so happy for her. Normally... Yeah, it would be like that. Normally, it would be where I go, she go, or where uh, good night, love you, and, or where uh, or, or or she would follow me, or I would follow her. We always stay together. But this time, no. But it's all good. Well, guys, I'm about to be out of here. 
You know what I'm saying? But hope you guys enjoyed this movie review. We went old. We always talk about other stuff. So look at Nurse Ratchet, y'all. Look at Nurse Ratchet so we can give a spoiler alert next Monday on that. Because I already looked at it. It was so good. I think y'all going to like Nurse Ratchet. Go ahead and take a look at Malcolm and Marie. It's very intense. I think it's very... The black and white just brings it together. If you can get past the argument and really listen to what they're saying, you can understand it more. I thought it was, I thought it was good. I gave it a four stars. Um... Of course, the Megan Good movie, it was a good Lifetime movie about um, abuse and um, getting out of a relationship, faking your death just to get there. Yeah, I know, Yvonne. Me too. Um, and then, what else we talk about? Do not, under any circumstances, look at no dag on bliss. They did it for the money. That's the end of that conversation. Mm. One star. <laughs> Do not look at Bliss, okay? Uh, if you got Disney, we tapped into WandaVision. Go look at WandaVision. Those, now I got to go for real, y'all. Bye, Sandra. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you, um, uh, Miss Reese, get past... Do you do a video on on scallops? I got a video on scallops. I got a bag of scallops in my freezer too. No, I, I haven't done a video on scallops. When I do a seafood bowl, I think. But I got a bag of scallops in my freezer that I haven't used yet. Um, so um, go look at that. Um, what else we talk about? Oh, everything we talk about tonight. Everything was good except for Bliss. Just don't watch Bliss. But um, go look at um, Nurse Ratchet. We can talk about it next week. Upcoming Lifetime movie this Saturday, 8 o'clock, is um, The Long Island Murders. Um, starring um, Kim Delaney. Anybody know who Kim Delaney is? She used to play on All My Children. Um, what was her current name? Jenny. If y'all remember way back in the day when she was a young girl, you know they about soap operas called All My Children Make Some Gumbo. I hear you, Yvonne. Um, Kim Delaney used to play on there. She said her character was called Jenny. And, and she was gone or going. So her, 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 her love interest was Craig. Back in the days when um when um Jesse and Angie, they that's what they that was that group. Craig, Jesse, Angie, Jenny, when they all friends and stuff with all my children. She used to play with all my children. She, she, um, but Kim Delaney got this um new show coming out. It's a again, pull from the headlines, two event story, uh, the Long Island murders, eight o'clock on Saturday. So next week we'll be talking about the Long Island murders, murders, and talk about Nurse Ratchet and anything else I see in between. Cause I see some stuff on Hulu. That I may want to check out. I'm telling you guys to go look at, go watch. It may be good. Uh, yeah. But I remember. Yes. Oh, watch Dr. Foster and What If on Netflix. Thank you, West Coast Cali. Dr. Foster and What If. All right, Miguel. Bye, y'all. Got to go. Thank you, <laughs> movie kid. Thank you, Miss Brown. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing a good job at it. Oh. Oh, I haven't seen Black Sugar. I haven't seen Queen Sugar since, um, who? I just haven't seen it in a while. I'm way behind. I'll have to catch up on to talk about Queen Sugar. Oh, another FYI. Anybody into American Idol? I'm into American Idol. American Idol came back last night. Um, the Witches of Eastwick Island on Hulu. Oh, The Witches of Eastwick. I remember that movie with Cher and um, Jack Nicholson and somebody else. I remember that movie. Um, American Idol is back, y'all. So we will be dabbing in that. I don't know if anybody look at American Idol. I've been an American Idol fan doing this thing since it all started. I love it now that it's on ABC with um, Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, and Blake Shelton. Is that Blake Shelton? That, no, not Blake Shelton. Who is the country dude? And you know, I'm going to shoot myself because y'all know I love my country music. I'm talking Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton is on the other thing. Uh, oh, my God. That's Brandon Boyd when he be shaking in his jeans. I can't even think of his name right now. I'm so, and that's bad. Must I love my country music. I can't think of his name. Mm. But y'all know who it is. I forgot. I forgot his name that quick. <laughs> But if you're into American Idol, it is back on Sundays. They're just getting started. Luke Bryan, thank you. Thank you, thank you. How I forget Luke Bryan's name, the way he be wearing those jeans. I don't know how I forget him. Uh, anyway, and I love his music. 
I'd be so excited the words, you know, get away from me. <laughs> um, so anyway, American Idol is back. It started yesterday. It started on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the Eagle Eyes. Yeah, y'all. Don't forget to watch Eagle Eyes. It's Sundays at 8 p.m. American Idol also Sundays at 8 from um, 8 to 10, ABC, Eastern Standard Time. Um, they do it in the middle of the auditions and stuff. So, yeah, that's all I got to say. I'm going to talk about American Idol, too, because that's my show. Mm-hmm. America, God is good. Yes. I don't know if that's a movie, but we just saying that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I am out, oh, guys. I love you so, so. Thank you for another great movie review. Uh, yes, thank you, Eva. Good night to everybody. Everybody has safe money. We're going to have some safe money. Safe Monday. Video coming tomorrow. I can quote Chicken Pot Pie. Oh, it's a series. Oh, okay, God is <laughs> video tomorrow. It's a chicken pot pie, guys. That's the video tomorrow. I gotta take my thighs off the freezer because that will be the video for tomorrow. Chicken pot pie. True to the game, too. Mm. Good night, good night. Shorty Red, Cynthia, Miss Brown, Katrina. Yes. Mr. McCall, Miss McCall, Mr. McAllister, J.D. McAllister, Rhonda Gilbert. See you tomorrow in the videos.